Uh, this is Michael Kingsbury. I'm the writer director of Gulag Magadan. Uh, this is the director commentary five, and um, hope you enjoy the um, the commentary that's going to follow. Do you remember young pioneers? Yes, I was one. Yes. I won a young pioneer medal. You were revolutionaries. State approved revolution path. We were pioneering nothing. It was called approved descent. State approved descent and we thought we were radicals so you remember i remember this is a critical um scene as well uh, it's, it's it addresses um the state approved descent and the young pioneers of the communist ussr who thought that they were changing the world and making things new and better and it the same thing goes on today with the frankfurt school and um as as yuri bezmanov says in his uh, the kgb uh, general uh, propaganda general says in his his video interviews in the west that um the young pioneers were not pioneering anything it was it was a state approved revolutionary path and this is so critical to media independent film today because when we get out of film school we all want to make you know the independent film the cutting edge film the film that uh, you know tells the story that hasn't been told you know the voices that haven't been haven't been told before right so we're given this this communist propaganda in film school and um and it's many years later that we realize that um that no it was it's just a rehash of something that has been pushed on us <laughs> since the era of the 1880s with Marx. It's, 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 n it's not new, and it's not pioneering anything. It's, it's, uh, it's salesmanship uh, for the, the leftists or the, for the Antifa. It's, it's lies. And, and a, a lot of the times, the, the young, these young pioneers find out that, yes, they've been lied to. But what's really interesting is that several of the actors in my films were actually recipients of young pioneer medals. And they, they were counted to me what their feelings and experiences were when they were younger. They don't realize what, what it means. Um, it's very interesting to have such authenticity on the film that we actually have real life young pioneers as actors in, in my films. Uh, so let's uh, proceed. And, Watch what's going on here. I remember smuggling the dogs. I felt something in me for first time. Something good. Something good? Yes, but at the same time, I felt ashamed for feeling good. Why? This is quite interesting because uh, she's waking up. She is becoming awakened and she's beginning to recognize shame, guilt, uh, self-hate. Um, she's beginning to feel pride. She's beginning to feel good about herself. It's a very interesting thing. The slow rise of the character. Uh, the, the character is, is, is awakening and slowly rising to self-awareness that we think as dissidents that we often um, know everything, but we don't. And it takes um, an encyclopedic knowledge and sharing of information. That's why the dissidents and the Samazats, we need each other.
because they put more of my Karelian people in Gulag because of what I did. We were all called enemies of state. I see. That is difficult. Did I do the right thing? Have some faith in yourself. It's so hard. Faith in what? It will come. Yeah, it's the uh, awakening of the person to feelings of guilt, shame, of sacrifice. What about? Faith in yourself. You, how are you doing, Filter? I'm doing no harm. And that is resistance in its own right. It is. Have you ever thought of doing something more? No, I'm afraid. Afraid what? of what? Of having anger. Anger? Anger. When I see so much suffering and tragedy, I can't take it. I break. Why? Anger is just not right. Why? Anger is just not right. Why? Because anger is anti-Soviet crime outlawed by Soviet Article 58? No. But I hadn't thought of that. It was in the back of your mind, though. Or was it... Yes, they begin to talk about hate and anger. And uh, justice. Because unless one hates injustice, one is not motivated to stop it. And this slowly dawns on the characters. Something else. Don't you ever have fear, Pilter? I don't. That's why I am here in Gulag. I had not fear when I published in Summers that did I? But do you have fear of being angry? Anger is bad. Anger leads to genocide. Lies lead to genocide. Mm -hmm. State ideology lies lead to genocide, not anger. Genocide is state killing, not human emotion. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's a key. Um, a key scene is that um, anger doesn't lead to genocide. Hate doesn't lead to genocide. It's the state laws and the state policy which lead to genocide. And this is a, a critical point in the film, is that um, you can't stop individual human emotion. An individual human emotion doesn't cause genocide as we're lied to constantly. Oh, hate causes genocide. No, hate doesn't cause genocide. The... the The state law, the policy, the, the engineering of, of authoritarian, totalitarian state law causes industrial scale genocide. And, and it's a big difference. People don't, don't um, kill you know, um, 65 million people because they hate them. You know, they kill them because they've built the architecture, the apparatus, the system. Um, the institutionalized system of, of, of genocide, of sending people to the gulags because they violate Article 58, anti-Soviet crime, whatever that is. I mean, the Soviet Constitution had all of these you know, high um, morality things, but then they had all, all of these exclusionary clauses in which you could be sent to 
the gulag and, and, and killed just because of, um, of how he criticized that uh, glorious utopian constitution of the Soviet Union. So it's, it's going into some contemporary uh, issues right here. Mm -hmm. You're a high-ranking GRU officer. Yes, I was. Don't be them, sheep, Peter. I have to go. They'll get suspicious. And that concludes um, the director commentary uh, number five uh, for Good Luck Magadan. Uh, once again, if you like this channel, you can hit subscribe and also a like on uh, this video here.